Hello year one and welcome to another revision lesson for science. Today we're going to look at the different ways that animals move. So let's start reading on page 93. Okay, let's start at the top over here. Animals are adapted to their way of living. For example, cats live on land, so they have legs to walk and run. Fish live in water, so they have fins to move and swim. Animals move differently. For example, cats and dogs can walk and run. Turtles walk very slowly or crawl. Frogs jump, snakes slither, birds fly, and fish move by swimming. We can classify animals by organs they use for movement as follows. So over here we got four examples of animals that use legs to move. For example, we have a dog that walks, a horse that runs, a tortoise that crawls, and a rabbit that jumps. Now let's look on the next page for some more examples. Animals that use wings to fly. So over here we have a butterfly, a bee, and a bird. And down here we have animals without legs that use muscles to move. For example, the snake. The snake slithers. And number four, animals that use fins to swim. And so the fish swims. Now, not every animal that swims has fins, but most fish have fins. All right, let's have a look at this page and let's do the task over here. So draw a line to match the relationship between organs used for movement, types of animals, and movement characteristics of animals. So let's have a look at the organs used for movement. So we have wings, we have legs, fins, and muscles. Yes, so wings, legs, fins, and muscles. Okay, let's draw the lines from the organs used for movement. So what animal has wings? Is it the snake? No. Is it the fish? No. Is it the butterfly? Yes, a butterfly has wings. All right, which one of these animals has legs? Does a snake have legs? Nope. Neither does a fish. A fish has no legs. But a cat has legs. Very good. And another one, fins. Does the snake have fins? Nope. Does a fish have fins? Yes, a fish has fins. So there's only one more left for muscles. Now, all animals have muscles, but the snakes use his muscles to move. Okay. Now let's look at the movement characteristics. So we have swim fly, slither, and walk. So again, we have swim, fly, slither, and walk. Okay, so which of these animals can swim? Is it the snake? Well, some snakes do swim, but not all snakes. Is it the fish? Yes, all fish can swim. Fly. Well, I don't think snakes can fly. But, of course, the butterfly can fly. Slither. Well, that's the snake. The snake can slither. Which leaves only one more left, which is walk. The cat can walk. Okay. Next, we're going to have a look at a little video about animal movement. So let's get right to that right now. 
All right, movement of animals. So let's have a look at the different movements of animals. Animals move differently. Some animals walk and run. For example, the dog. A dog can walk and run. Or a cow. Another example is the goat. And the giraffe, of course. And we also have the lion. And a cat. Crawl. What animals can crawl? For our first example, we have the alligator. The alligator crawls. Or a caterpillar. A worm. A lizard. Or a snail. Hop and jump. Let's look at some animals that hop and jump. All right, let's get started with the kangaroo. The kangaroo can hop or jump. Of course, a rabbit. And a frog. A grasshopper. Swim. Let's look at some animals that swim. Okay, let's get started with the fish. The fish can swim. Next, we have the seahorse. A seahorse. And, of course, a whale. Very big whale. Or a jellyfish. And as you can see, the jellyfish has no fins, but it can swim. And same goes for the octopus. A dolphin can swim. Fly. Let's look at some animals that can fly. The bird. Not all birds, but most birds can fly. Or a bat. A bat can fly. And of course, butterflies. Or a bee. An owl. A dragonfly. Okay, let's have a little drill or a little exercise. So we're going to look at three different animals, and I want you to cross out or guess the animal that moves different than the other two. So over here we have kangaroo, rabbit, and bird. Which one moves differently? It is the bird. Yes, the kangaroo and the rabbit hop. Okay, let's have a look over here. What animal moves differently? Yes, the alligator crawls and the cat and dog run and walk. Okay, bat, whale, butterflies. And it is the whale moves differently. It's the only animal that swims. All right, octopus, seahorse, and lion. Which one moves differently? It's the lion. The octopus and the seahorse swim. Okay. Frog, lizard, and worm. Which one moves differently? Yes, the frog does not crawl. It jumps or hops. All right. Good job, kids. And let's go back to the book. Okay, and here we are back in the book. Okay, so what are we going to do over here? We're going to use all the words from the box over here. And we're going to fill in those words in the boxes down here around the cat. Okay, now some of you have already done this during last week's lesson. But if you haven't, you can follow along and write the answers. And if you did, you can just listen to review the answers. Okay, let's zoom in on the words. 
and uh, let's get started. So the first word we have is ears. Ears. Okay, the next word is nose. Nose. Then we have legs and feet. Legs and feet. And then we have mouth. Mouth. Skin. Skin. The next one is, you can't see it very well, but it's right over there. Eyes. Eyes. Okay. To see. To see. To eat. To eat. To listen. To listen. To walk. To walk. To smell and breathe. To smell and breathe. And the last one, to cover internal organs. To cover internal organs. Okay, so now we're going to have to fill those in, in these boxes over here. So let's start with the first one. And let's follow this arrow over here. And as you can see, this arrow follows along to the ears. The ears. So over here, we're going to write the word ears. E A R S. Ears. And what is the function of the ears? The function of the ears is to listen to listen okay let's follow along to the next one over here and as you can see that one goes all the way down to the nose so over here we write nose n o s e nose so over here we write nose and what is the function of an animal's nose? It is to smell and breathe. To smell and breathe. All right, let's follow along the next one. What do we have over here? Those are the eyes. Over here we write eyes. E, Y, E. S eyes. And what is the function of the eyes? The function of the eyes is to see. To see. Very good. Okay, next box over here. Let's follow along and we get to the mouth. The mouth. M O U. T H mouth. And what is the function of the mouth? The function of the mouth is to eat. To eat. Okay. Now, let's follow along. What do we have over here? Well, these are the feet. But as we saw in the box, we need the legs and feet. So, we write down legs, L. E, G, S, and F, E, E, T, feet, legs and feet. <clears throat> and what is the function of legs and feet? It is to walk, to walk. So over here we write to walk. Now, what is this pointing at? Well, it's just pointing at the middle of the cat. But what they mean to point at is basically all of the cat. 
and all of the cat is covered in fur and skin. But the word we need today is skin. S K I N skin. And what is the function of skin according to your book? It is to cover internal organs. To cover internal organs. Okay, well, that was it for our science revision for this week. And we will see each other again next time. Goodbye.